And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. Whoa, everyday knowledge for you. Hi everyone, we've had quite a bit of time away. That's good for your memory. Because what's happened is, all of that everyday knowledge that you've been learning, everything that you've been keeping in your working memory, it's kind of moved around a little bit, and some of it's got hidden, some of it's got stuck in your long-term memory, and some of it's kind of just hiding there. So now, I'm gonna bring all of that knowledge back into your working memory. This is a good way of helping to remember things is by constantly retrieving them and we've given it a bit of a break and this is good i promise you it's good for your memory right we're going to have some music we're going to have some science we're going to have some art and we're going to have some history i'm going to mash mash them all up because that is what i do let's start off with some elements for the periodic table you know that an element is the smallest most basic part of everything around us some very, very, very clever scientists put them into a periodic table. Oh, there it is, lovely. Uh, let's look, no, look, 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 look. let's practice what some of them are. What about this one? That's right, C is for carbon, here's another one. That's right, oxygen. Bit of history, okay, in which, in which year was the Great Fire of London? 1666, that's correct. Oh, I love this music. You know it's one of my childhood favorites. Oh, it's a beautiful piece of music. Here's the composer, can you remember his name? That's right, Antonin Dvorak. I mean, fantastic composer. Um, can you remember the name of the piece of music? That's right, New World Symphony, fantastic. Okay then, um, in which year did England men win the Football World Cup? 1966, that's right, they beat West Germany in the final at Wembley, 4-2, hat trick from Jeff Hurst. Okay, oh, tell you what, masterpiece, this is a great piece of art. Um, I need the artist and then the name of the masterpiece. That's right, Edvard Munch's The Scream. Here's another one. I need the artist and the name of the masterpiece. That's right, it's Loon Coonan and it's Bush Tucker. Here's one more. Oh, this is a really, really famous piece. Artist and the name of the masterpiece. That's right, Leonardo da Vinci and it is Mona Lisa. Brilliant, okay then, oh, periodic table. Uh, what about this element? That's right, it's neon. One more, oh, don't mind if I do, what about that one? Helium, correct. In which year uh, was Charles Dickens born? That's right. Haha, <laughs> 1812. Okay, oh, another bar. This is, this is, the, you know, I call it the angry, stompy piece of music. It's from The Apprentice. Uh, who's the composer, though? That's right, Sergei Prokofiev. There he is, Russian composer, brilliant musician. And uh, what's that piece of music called? That's right, Dance of the Nights from the Romeo and Juliet Ballet. Let's finish with one more day. Which year was the Battle of Hastings? That's right, 1066. Uh, if you've got a couple of minutes, you might not have, if you've got a couple of minutes, can you now think about any everyday knowledge that I didn't put in this video? Which pieces of art didn't I include? Which elements didn't I include? Which music didn't I include? And which dates didn't I include? There we go, see you next time. It's great to be back.
And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember.